Hello, everyone. I think uh, dating online is very, very popular. And some people may use it to find a potential spouse. And I don't think that is bad. But you have to be careful. I believe there are so many bad people that are online. There may be some people who want to be good, or should I say okay, but they may not know how to be okay. So you have to be very, very careful. I am going to tell you some things you have to look out for, and I hope this really helps. Be careful of people who tell you they love you very quickly. Let's say you have been chatting with a person within a week or two weeks or a month or something like that. And let's say they tell you they love you. Let's say they come unto you very strong. Now, how can they love you if they don't like how much can you know of a person within some weeks? or within a month or so. Like how much can they really know of you? So are they really being honest about love, loving you? Or can it be something else going on? Are they deceiving you? If they are not deceiving you, you may be concerned about this. If you know anything about some mental disorders, I believe in some cases, it is a very bad sign. Someone coming to you very aggressively, or I would say to even come to you without really knowing you too well, telling you that they love you. And, and don't get me wrong, there may be some people who may be very starving for love. And you may say, Kevin, you know, I have been single for many years. You know, uh, I want love. Or, Kevin, I am at an, at an age to where I need to have a baby before a particular age. Listen, man, if someone comes to you, telling you they love you and will do anything for you and they don't really know you that is something to really be concerned about think about this too you are probably an average person if someone came to you telling you they love you very quickly i believe there is a chance that person probably have told one or more people that he or she loved them very quickly as well, right? I think so. And the way I see it too, if you can fall in love very quickly, I believe there is a large chance that you can fall out of love as well. Don't you believe that is very concerning? Why invest your time into something that is not going to bear any fruit? Why even waste your time? It may feel very good for someone to show you so much love and attention very early on, but it may not be the best thing. Another thing to pay attention to with the person you are speaking to, not saying you should test it out, you know, like provoke the person and stuff like that. How does that person respond to frustration, anger, and stuff like that? Like, does that person, is that person very sensitive to where they will explode on you for something very minor. Like, 
do they get mad, angry, very easily? Let's say you and that person is speaking about the grass. And let's say you accidentally said, uh, this may be an extreme example. Let's say there is a, <laughs> a disagreement with grass, the color of grass. And let's say that person starts to yell at you and not only one time but you start to see like a trend like hey this person gets angry very quickly i think that is a red flag i am not telling you to be paranoid when you online date i am not saying that but i believe you have to be careful you have to be careful if someone gets angry very easily that is something to pay more attention to and let's say you see this trend that this person gets angry so much so often you may have to ask yourself do you really want to continue speaking to this person Another thing to look out for, do that person take responsibility for the wrong they do? If they are confronted, are they trying to make an excuse for almost every bad thing they have done? If they do, that is a red flag. How can a relationship work if someone is not willing to take responsibility of their actions? If you find out that person is not willing to take responsibility of their actions, not only that, but tries to twist things to make it seem like it is your fault. That is something to be really, really concerned of. That is a red flag. Listen to me. I am not saying everyone is going to be perfect. I am not saying people aren't going to make mistakes. But there are some red flags we need to pay attention to. Another thing to watch out for. How much does that person lie? You know, some people may misspeak and that is understandable. Some people may say something, but probably did not mean to lie outright. Some people may tell some lies, maybe few lies, okay, which is wrong. But some people, I think, are very compulsive, compulsive in lying. Do you really want to be with a person that lies so much? Think about that. How can you trust a person that lies so much? How can you do business with a person who lies so much? How can you really be comfortable, comfortable with a person that lies so much? that is a red flag you don't have to continue on speaking to that person if you see a trend of lies 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 and lies in some cases some people may even gaslight you 
And you may say, Kevin, what do you mean by gaslight? For instance, you see a red truck and let's say you tell that person there is a red truck. And let's say that person tells you that truck is green or that truck is not red. It is blue. Gaslighting. Just pretty much lying honestly you may say well what if that person is what if that person is colorblind i am not speaking of that what i am speaking of that person sees something or knows something but telling you that you are wrong even though the two of you can see something that it is a particular way if you understand what i am saying to you so gaslighting is a red flag if you begin to if you begin to feel the need to record the conversations because that person lies so much i think that is a red flag right there why waste your time why once again i am not saying everyone is going to be perfect i am not saying that but what you want is a down-to-earth person a person who is mild tempered a person who is willing to tell the truth <laughs> a person who is willing to compromise a person who is willing to express themselves but in the correct manner. Um, I believe when we express ourselves, there is a right and a wrong way to do it. I believe we can say things to purposely offend people. But what you want, I assume, is a person who is willing to express themselves properly. Like, why would you want a person to express themselves in a very insulting manner? Why would you want that? Also, another thing to watch out for or something. How can I say this? <sighs> monitor the way they are their emotions like for an example do they get mad then within five minutes they are happy then within an hour they are sad like in a 24 hour period are there emotions jumping jumping back and forth back and forth over here over there over here you know are they stable i believe if your emotions are always jumping around you are happy at 1 p.m now you are sad at 2 p.m now you want to fight verbally at 3 p.m. Now you are happy again. Like, are there emotions always jumping around? I am telling you, and I am not speaking ill of bad people. I am not speaking poorly about mentally ill people. But there are some things 
you have to watch out for. Some people may have a mental illness and may not even tell you. May not even tell you. For instance, a person can be bipolar and may not tell you. I think it is very important to tell a person like, hey, I am bipolar and I have this person. I mean, I have this problem, but I really want to be in a relationship with you. I think you need to disclose information like that. Seriously. Right? Some things you have to look out for. I believe what you want is a stable person. Not saying you and that person will agree on everything. Not saying that you and that person will have pleasant days every day. Not saying everything is going to be perfect, but both people should be or should work towards being stable. I really hope this makes sense. For instance, someone may be, you know, someone may have anxiety. And I believe anxiety makes you, maybe not make, but I think anxiety influences some people to do bad things. May make a person behave poorly. If that person is willing to find help, go to therapy, and if that person is progressing, it may not be a bad thing to be in a relationship with that person. If that person is willing to change, if that person is making steps to change. I think some people may not want to change or may think that they should not change, but you should. Even though it is that person that is causing the most problems. Some things you have to look out for. Another thing which is very important, make sure that person wants to serve Jesus Christ. And you may say, Kevin, skip that. No. <laughs> if you want to be married, if you really want things to work out, How can you not serve God if you want things to be a success? I believe people can stay married for many years, but it can be very bad, right? So a person telling you they have been married for 40 years, they have been married for 50 years. Okay, okay, okay. The thing you really should ask, how is or what is the quality of their marriage? I believe you can stay married, but the marriage can be very chaotic. Like the man is cheating, the woman is cheating, they are separated like i believe the marriage can be so bad even though <laughs> you all have not divorced i hope this is making sense <sighs> 
when you online date, take your time. Stop falling for that I love you stuff within a week, within a month, and all that mess like that. Take your time. You may say, how long does it take? And I don't really want to give an answer for that because someone that is probably bad may wait that long to tell you I love you. Yes. Listen. A person can tell you anything. A person can say this. A person can say that. But don't listen to their words so much. Look at their actions. I believe by their actions, it will inform you what type of person they are. A person can lie. A person can say whatever they like, but I believe much of the time, the actions will show the truth. Even if a person tries to be fake, and let's say they are faking their actions, eventually something is going to show. Eventually, they are going to slip up, I believe, and show you where they are really at. They may give you some type of lie to cover their trail. Don't fall for that. Don't. Listen to... Okay, listen to what they say, but look at their actions more. I really hope this is making sense. Look at their actions more. How can you be manipulated in a very bad way if you are steadily looking at that person's actions more than their words. Maybe you can be manipulated some, but probably not all the way. Let me stop here, though. May God bless us.